Palaroga Shark Media. Hi, and welcome to Taylor Swift Today, a short roundup of all the headlines around Taylor's music, tours, movies, and life. Amidst the whirlwind of Taylor Swift's Eras Tour, there was a precious moment of respite as Taylor and Travis carved out time for a romantic rendezvous. Following Taylor's electrifying final performance at the National Stadium in Singapore, the couple, accompanied by Taylor's bandmates and backup singers, indulged in a cozy dinner at Coma Restaurant. Seated at a round table tucked away in a corner, Taylor exuded elegance in a white high-low dress adorned with vibrant red flowers, while Travis rocked a laid-back yet sophisticated look in an off-white linen shirt paired with gray slacks. As captured in footage circulating on social media, Taylor held a martini in one hand, her radiant smile mirroring the joy of the moment, while Travis, ever the supportive partner, playfully tweaked the lyrics of her song Karma in a loving gesture. Later, as the curtains closed on Taylor's stellar performance and she made her way backstage, Travis stood waiting, a beacon of unwavering support. Their reunion was nothing short of magical. As Travis affectionately waved to his beloved from the wings, Taylor's shimmering blue leotard a testament to the brilliance of her show. With an embrace that spoke volumes, Taylor wrapped her arms around the towering frame of her Super Bowl winning bow, sealing their affection with a tender kiss. In a world where time seems to stand still, the couple basked in the warmth of each other's presence, Taylor finding solace in Travis's protective embrace, her head nestled against his chest. Yet, amidst the blissful moments shared between Taylor and Travis, echoes of Travis's recent emotional journey resonated. Just days prior, Travis had been by his older brother Jason's side as he bid farewell to a storied football career spanning 13 seasons with the Philadelphia Eagles. The emotional gravity of the moment was palpable as Travis wiped away tears, his unwavering support for Jason a testament to the bond shared between siblings. With their paths intertwined by love and shared experiences, Taylor and Travis's journey continues into uncharted territory. As Taylor prepares for the release of her highly anticipated album, The Tortured Poets Department, on April 19th, and Travis gears up for the return of his Kelsey Jam Music Festival, scheduled for May 18th at the Azura Amphitheater in Bonner Springs, Kansas. The future brims with possibility. Though the details of their next chapter remain uncertain, one thing is clear. In each other's arms, Taylor and Travis have found a sanctuary of love, resilience, and unwavering support. Taylor Swift's Eras Tour is poised to inject a staggering $225 million into Singapore's economy, with estimates suggesting the figure could soar as high as $300 million. Following the conclusion of her six captivating performances in Singapore, Taylor is set to leave an indelible mark on the city-state's economic landscape. DBS Bank Limited economist Han Tang Chua emphasized the far-reaching benefits of Taylor's tour, predicting a substantial boost to Singapore's hospitality, food and beverage, and retail sectors. These would be mainly supported by higher foreign tourist spending, noted Chua, highlighting the significant influx of overseas fans attending Taylor's concerts. As Taylor and her bandmates celebrated the successful conclusion of her Singapore shows with a cozy dinner at Coma Restaurant, the impact of her performances reverberated through the city. Accompanied by her NFL star boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, Taylor enjoyed a romantic evening after captivating audiences with her electrifying performances. Travis, a proud supporter of his superstar girlfriend, was spotted in the audience during Taylor's concerts, basking in the magic of her music. Taylor reciprocated his unwavering support with a heartfelt dedication during her concert, playfully tweaking the lyrics of her song Karma to pay homage to Travis and his team, the Chiefs. As Taylor bids farewell to Singapore and gears up for the European leg of her tour, commencing in Paris, France, Travis continues to stand by her side, a pillar of strength and devotion. Reflecting on their whirlwind romance, Travis reminisced about their enchanting date in Australia, where they explored the wonders of the zoo amidst a flurry of media attention. With the NFL offseason affording Travis and Taylor precious time together, the couple's future remains uncertain, yet brimming with possibilities. As Taylor prepares to unveil her upcoming record, 
the Tortured Poets Department on April 19th, Travis eagerly anticipates the return of his Kelsey Jam Music Festival in Bonner Springs, Kansas on May 18th. Amidst the excitement of their respective endeavors, Taylor and Travis find solace in each other's company, navigating the highs and lows of fame and fortune with unwavering love and mutual admiration. Hedge Fund Titan Ray Dalio made headlines after attending a Taylor Swift heiress tour concert in Singapore and sharing a selfie from the electrifying event, along with a caption advocating for the megastar to become the next president of the United States. At Taylor Swift for president, exclaimed the founder of Bridgewater Associates, Dalio, in an Instagram post on Thursday, capturing the attention of social media users worldwide. In his impassioned message, Dalio articulated his belief that Taylor possesses a unique ability to unite Americans and citizens across the globe, surpassing the capabilities of conventional political candidates. Reflecting on the transformative experience of witnessing Taylor's concert alongside an eclectic mix of fans from diverse backgrounds, Dalio underscored the profound impact of her universal appeal in fostering a sense of camaraderie and connectedness among people from all walks of life. Despite the lighthearted tone of his post, Dalio's endorsement of Taylor for president resonated deeply within political circles, serving as a testament to the singer's unparalleled influence and widespread popularity. In a subsequent tweet, Dalio clarified his earlier remarks, acknowledging the jestful nature of his endorsement, while reaffirming his genuine belief in Taylor's capacity to bridge divides and cultivate unity, a quality he deems indispensable in presidential leadership. More in a moment. Amid the buzz surrounding her upcoming album, The Tortured Poets Department, Taylor Swift has playfully declared, all's fair in love and poetry, a sentiment that extends to her innovative approach to album releases, including a touch of capitalism. The Grammy-winning songwriter has announced the release of four distinct versions of the album, each boasting a unique bonus track to entice her devoted fans. Priced at $34.99 for vinyl editions, with standard delivery bringing the total to $47.99, each version offers a glimpse into Taylor's multifaceted artistry. Superfans eager to collect all four variants can expect to shell out nearly $200 at checkout, a price tag that some may deem steep, but diehard enthusiasts insist is a small investment for the immense joy Swift's music brings. Sarah Chappelle, a prominent fashion influencer and author, proudly admits to purchasing all four versions, citing her passion for collecting CDs and her admiration for Taylor's artistic vision as driving factors, with bonus tracks like The Manuscript, The Bolter, The Albatross, and The Black Dog, packaged in vibrant colors and adorned with poignant phrases hinting at themes of heartbreak. Each version promises a unique journey through Swift's emotional landscape. For Chappelle and many others, fandom is akin to a choose-your-own-adventure experience, where individuals can tailor their engagement to align with their emotional resonance and financial means. Swift's penchant for offering multiple variants is not new, with previous albums like Midnight's, 1989, Taylor's version, and Folklore, boasting a variety of vinyl editions to cater to diverse tastes. However, the announcement of multiple album versions has sparked mixed reactions among fans on social media, igniting debates over the cost of loyalty to Taylor Swift. This isn't the first time fans have grappled with the economics of being a Swifty, as evidenced by the recent release of a rental version of the Eras Tour movie, accompanied by the upcoming Disney Plus premiere featuring additional content, a testament to the enduring allure and influence of Swift's musical empire. Amidst Taylor Swift's towering fame and influence, Emily Harris found herself grappling with the decision to part with one of her most cherished possessions, an autographed guitar, to alleviate expenses for her upcoming wedding. Having received the guitar as a heartfelt gift from her parents on her 16th birthday, Harris shared fond memories of unwrapping the instrument, recalling the joyous moment when she first laid eyes on the signature etched upon its surface. For over 14 years, the guitar had been a constant companion, bearing witness to countless milestones in Harris's life. However, with the weight of wedding expenses looming overhead, 
Paris and her fiancé reluctantly considered selling the cherished guitar. Recognizing its sentimental value, yet also acknowledging its potential significance to another Swifty, Paris mustered the courage to seek a buyer with the help of her father. Expecting offers or appraisals, Paris was instead met with an outpouring of support and insistence from fellow Swifties that she retain the guitar. Messages flooded in, urging her not to part ways with the treasured instrument, with some even suggesting the creation of a GoFundMe campaign to alleviate her wedding expenses. Initially hesitant, Harris was moved by the unwavering generosity of the Swifty community. Encouraged by their steadfast support, her father initiated a GoFundMe campaign on her behalf. Within a short span, the campaign garnered overwhelming response, with hundreds of donors contributing over $7,900 to support Harris's wedding aspirations. Touched by the unexpected display of kindness, Harris expressed her gratitude, reflecting on the profound impact of the Swifty community's compassion. Moved to tears by their selfless gestures, she marveled at the inherent goodness and generosity that pervades the world. As Harris navigates the journey toward her wedding day, the guitar that once graced her bedroom will now symbolize not only cherished memories of the past, but also the overwhelming love and support that accompanied her transition into a new chapter of life. With plans to incorporate the guitar into their wedding festivities, Harris and her fiancé embrace the enduring legacy of their love story, enriched by the bonds forged within the Swifty community. And there you have it. Please follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or your app of choice, and leave us a rating or review if you love the show. I'm Annalise Idol. Thanks to Mark Francis and John McDermott, this is Taylor Swift Today.